your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, new data coming in. Nothing's really changed as far as the storm headed our way. It's not like it's a miss and heading out to sea. It's coming, bringing a variety of impactful weather, and uh, this all slated and scheduled for tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and on into Sunday. We take a look at Providence right now with, well, skies are clear, it's cold, it's dry. We've got temperatures now that are in well, the upper 20s to uh, lower 30s. So let's take a look at the numbers now. And, you know, the atmosphere initially is primed. It's cold enough to support snow. So once this moisture arrives uh, tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, it, it starts to snow pretty much everywhere. And then there is a transition over to uh, some sleet and some rain for a short time, especially south and east of Providence and towards the coastline. And then it flips back over to all snow on Sunday. So this is a variety of precipitation types and, and the timing. But the threat tracker overnight through at least the daylight hours of Saturday it remains low. It's really Saturday evening, Saturday night and on into Sunday accumulating wet snow and for a time or either a mix or a change to sleet and a little bit of rain, especially as you get closer to the South Shore. And then flipping back over to snow. It's interesting because uh, Sunday starts off with temperatures in the 30s, but it drops rapidly by noontime to change back to snow. Anything wet or slushy is going to freeze up. We call that a flash freeze when the temperature drops very, very fast, and we anticipate that uh, coming up on Sunday. So it's dry skies across New England. You can clearly see the moisture that we're anticipating for this weekend. Uh, across the Mississippi Valley and the Gulf Coast, all tracking north and east. This will ride up and on top of the uh, dome of cold air that we have right now, and that's why we start as snow before going over to a mix. So we take this into tomorrow morning. The white is not snow. It's actually cloud cover. Uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, filtered sun through increasing clouds, staying dry. And then here comes the moisture. The arrival time has been moved up now. So this is around 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. This darker blue represents the snow working in with the green and yellow indicating some rain just offshore, which tries to sneak in briefly, and then, and then it goes back over to snow. But because we do have a transition for a short time to... Um, to rain and sleet it makes the the accumulation forecast that much more difficult there's more math involved but here's the breakdown the areas in blue it pretty much stays all snow uh, in pink it's a snow sleet mix going over back to snow and, and in the green not as much snow some sleet and rain but even here you'll get a, a some few hours or several hours worth of snow six to nine inches in the northwest part of the state the i-95 corridor providence metro three to six that gives a close-up look so as little as six to as much as nine in this darker blue zone this light blue area as little as three to as much as six it's a moderate snowfall and then one to three inches along the immediate south shore how's this for detail this is an in alphabetical order let me step out of the way Town by town of, as to how much snow will fall, and you've got the range here. So, for instance, Foster Gloucester, 6 to 9. Uh, looking at Jamestown, 1 to 3. Block Island, 1 to 2. Now, this is a lot to, to look at, and we'll show you Massachusetts as well, Bristol County, Mass. Uh, but you can find this on our website at WPRI.com in the Weather Now section. And, we're, and moving forward, we're going to do this pretty much with every snowstorm. So, Mike, while we do show like an accumulation map, if you want to get real detailed, we're going to kind of list each town and show you how much we're anticipating. So here's the breakdown. It's tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into Sunday. It's mostly snow, but for a time, there'll be a little rain and sleet mixed in. That 36 degrees on Sunday is deceiving. That's early in the morning. The temperature will crash. Uh, during the uh, the afternoon hours as it falls into the 20s. So if you're coming home from the Patriots game, I mean, it'll, it'll snow for the game, uh, forecasting three to six for Foxborough, but roads will be icy as the, any wet surfaces freeze as the temperature drops. So be careful. I was asking Tony, you know, when should we get rid of the snow? You know, get up early in the morning. You need to do that. Yeah, it's a wet snow. So by Sunday morning, the temperature is still above freezing. If you don't get rid of it, you'll have to chisel it because it'll freeze solid as the temperature drops. Yeah, all right. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm.